Peter, when should a screenwriter give up on a screenplay? <laughs> yeah, wow. That, wow. That's sort of like asking, when do you give up on a marriage? Because you can give up on a marriage at any point. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, uh, we've been to counseling. Okay, we thought that was going to work. Well, okay, do you want to go see another counselor or not? Um, there's no good answer to that, and I'm sorry to be mealy mouth because I've had writers who have had scripts that they haven't been able to sell in 15 years. They turn to them again, and they, they go, wow. I'd say if you are tired of the story, put it away, and then come back to it in a year or two. It's amazing what happens when you do that. You, there's something about time that gives you a complete perspective and will help you maybe understand what's wrong with the story in 10 minutes, whereas you've been struggling with it and struggling with it and you can't realize what's wrong with it. I've seen writers put a story away for a year, come back to it and go, oh my God, I know exactly what's wrong with it. I know how to fix it. There, are, there is never a point for you to say, I will never ever touch the script again ever. It's, if you've written something down, it's going to be valuable to you. It, it, I've seen it all the time happen that a writer has worked four or five years on a project and said, I will never touch it again, picked it up uh, even four or five years later and been re-inspired by it. And here's the other thing. When you're writing a, a story and you read it the next day, you're the worst judge of whether it's good or not of anybody. You should, and I always tell writers this, try not to read your writing for at least a week or two when you're writing it. Try to get some perspective on it. Chances are what you've written is, has some brilliance in it, but you won't know. You have no perspective in a day or two. You need time to know whether it's good or not. This is why that cliche about working every day whether you are inspired or not is so important and I see it in professional writers all the time. Even if they literally are in agony as they type and go, this is shit, this is crap, this is crap, you never know what the gold is gonna be from that writing. Whereas, if you don't write it down, if you go, you know what, today is just too tough, it's too hard, I have no inspiration, I'm not gonna write, because I know when I write this is crap, those people fail almost all the time because they don't ever write on a disciplined schedule. So they're never, they don't have crap that they can go back in and go, oh look, here's a gold nugget, oh here's another gold nugget. I guarantee you if you write five pages of what you think is utter crap, that within that you'll find a paragraph, if you give yourself enough time, that'll literally propel you another chapter or two or another scene or two. And that's, what, that's sort of the secret of a professional writer that really distinguishes him from an amateur writer, is that they will write on a schedule no matter whether or not they've got needles sticking in their eyes. They'll just go ahead and sit down and write.